Thank you. Thank you. What a great sight. Before I begin, I'd like to ask you something. Nationally, we need help. And locally, I need your help. Each of you, all of you, bring five neighbors, five friends to the polls to see that they get there. One of you, volunteer on election day. Only five days to go. We need you. I need you. Thank you. This election for me is personal. Personal because it's about Canada. Personal because it's about how we govern ourselves to be this Canada. We live in a big land, a hard, beautiful land that punishes us and gives us abundance. This is Canada. On this land and with this climate, we have learned to live together because we know we need each other to survive and thrive. This is Canada. <laughs> Aboriginal peoples, French and English, now people from almost everywhere. We've learned to be respectful, civil, tolerant. This is Canada. We found a way to get along, to deal with each other, even how to disagree and fight with each other. This is Canada. As Canadians, we want good things for ourselves. As Canadians, we want good things for others. This is Canada. We are hopeful. We are optimistic, we are generous. We have created together the best place on earth. And everyone here in this room and everyone outside these walls in York Center and everyone else sees it and knows it. This is our Canada. That's why I ran seven years ago. But now at the doors, on the streets, I hear it. A rustle, a rumble. Something's not right. The personal attack ads that attack and attack. That's just politics. Everyone does it. No. No, this is something more. Shutting down Parliament. People who disagree with this government getting fired. Nonprofit groups, their funding cut or threatened, bullied into silence. This isn't our Canada. The Prime Minister shutting down every voice but his own, even his own caucus, even his own campaign, a campaign without public events, only rallies for the faithful, no one else welcome, no one else allowed. Can't be true, but it is. This isn't our Canada. His own candidates, their answer to every question, it's because of the leadership of Stephen Harper, the great leadership of Stephen Harper, the principled leadership of Stephen Harper, again, again, again. <laughs> Seemingly capable candidates as if they have no mind of their own. This isn't our Canada. And just when you think he'll learn and stop, he doesn't because hating discussion, unwilling to deal with difference of any sort, that's how he is. It's okay to knock on doors of people you've never met who may not think as you think. It's okay to see people who may never vote for you. It's good. It's great. They're Canadians. This is our Canada. <laughs> This election might have been about the economy. Our record is far better than theirs. Or about child care, elder care, or post-secondary student programs, or pensions for seniors. But no, 
This election's about Canada, about what we are, about what we want to be, about who we want as our government. A Harper government, a Harper government grim, suspicious, distrustful, that sees the worst in people, close to ideas and differences, fearful of the future, or a liberal government, on the road, everywhere, listening, tough questions, life stories. Last Sunday, half a million Canadians for a virtual town hall across the country. A Michael Ignatieff government that's open, hopeful, trusting. <laughs> that sees the best in people, that's excited about the future, that's excited about Canada, our Canada. That's what this election is about. Which party can best deliver this Canada? It is not the Conservatives. It is not the NDP. It is us. And then, and then on election day, for Canadians to put our votes together, Liberal, NDP, Green, even many Conservatives, to elect this Canada. As Canadians, it's time to be proud. This is Canada. It's time to be offended by this Harper government. This is not our Canada. And the prouder we feel, the more offended we get, and the more offended we get, the prouder we feel. It is time. It's time to say what's really in us, what's in our gut, in our bones. This Prime Minister's bad for Canada. We are better than this. I told you this is personal. Personal for all of us. This is Canada our Canada. I want my Canada back. We want our Canada back. And now, ladies and gentlemen of York Centre, hold on to your hats. L'ancien Premier Ministre, le très honorable, the right honorable Jean Chrétien. Yeah. 